welcome to the HNK Video Experience. So guys, welcome back to the channel and we are talking about today Season 6 of the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Warzone Package. And this is a whole new package we'll be releasing September 29th, as we all know is just around the corner. And we will be taking a look at what there is to do with the trailer and what is to do with everything inside this trailer and all the bits that we can get exempt from it. And I'm going to play the trailer for you first so you get to see this first and we'll break it down instantly afterwards. Let's take a look at the trailer. Captain's intel was good. Always is. The guy and his men have been using these tunnels to move through where tanks can noticed. He had the tunnels but no trains. Can you power them? If you buy me some time, yes. Three enemies heading your way, Nick. Then keep them out. Nice work. Same to you. Give the captain my regards. Stay. Help us go after Zakayev. I'd rather kill him. Good. You'll need this. Back in the fight. Actual. I'm with Nikolai. What on? Roger that. Bravo 6 to Greek. Step out of move. Copy. Say the word, Captain. So guys, that was pretty interesting trailer. I thought it was pretty pretty goddamn interesting to see what the elements that we could get inside the gameplay because I think this is what the trailer showed most of all. But I want to take a look at what the story elements that we are. We love stories on this channel and good stories always have good content. And what we can see here is we have a father and Nikolai are back in the battle. I thought well, it's not surprising Nikolai because he gets his hands everywhere. It doesn't matter where the fuck you put him. He gets his hands stuck everywhere. It's annoying. I'm joking. Um, father to be in Modern Warfare into Verdansk herself as two new operators. We will talk about that in a minute. I thought that was pretty interesting. Because if you remember back in Modern Warfare, Father said she would only defend her home in Uzbekistan. I believe that's how you call it to only defend a home and wouldn't get in intervened into fallen affairs like we showed here let's talk i know how this works captain not this time they gave the deer to the russians they'll kill him if he's lucky looks like you saved the free world again captain price a deer located barkov's lab in eastern georgia gas factory he had plans to destroy it. That is fucking crazy. Yeah, but we're a little crazy, aren't we? Isn't that right, Alex? Affirmative, sir. With your help, we can finish what he started. You're a good friend, Captain. And the worst enemy, I'm sure. But I do not cross borders and invade. I defend my people here at home. Well, sometimes the best line of defense. It's all there. Plans, personnel. And as you know, Father, uh, straight after that mission, she goes out to Barkov's lab and helps to destroy it. And of course, she would not get intervened to anything else, and she has to make sure a home of Uzbekistan gets 
fighting against the Russians, which is probably still in occupation. Why the fuck they invaded that country, I don't know. But the gas was one thing of the story. Now, to get farther back into Verdansk is very interesting, because we know Verdansk is not located in Uzbekistan. It's located in another country entirely. But for her to be in this mission as an operationist, or as one of the operation ones with Nikolai, seems to be very interesting to the story. We might talk about that with the implementation of this into the story timeline. So, we'll also remember we have Nikolai, so I think this will be also interesting to have him in the story too. So, let's go and talk about what we can get from the gameplay, because this is what we're here for, right? So, we can tell from the start, this looks to be uh, Nikolai and Father, the two main operators, and we seem to be going underground. We are using the underground systems, as we know the Metro is all closed off from the dance you know there's shutters everywhere there's chains on the things and the first thing we see is chains on the ground and they've been trying to break through and obviously someone doesn't want them to be in there and we believe that Sakaev has been using the underground network of the dance to be shifting troops materials and that around the map which would make sense on how things are going so quick where troops end up in location one day and one to the other and it just vanish instantly and if you had an underground metro system that would probably be an ideal solution for that idea. So, and the mission tends to be into an attacking and defending position where Father has to defend Nikolai when Nikolai is trying to put the electrics back on. And it looks like we're going to see a few elements of what Father can do, such as the implement of throwing knives. And as you can see, this guy here got absolutely destroyed by her with the throwing knife. And we thought it was maybe a thing she could stab him with. But no, it looks like we've got throwing knives with Father. Not sure what Nikolai has in total yet, but I haven't really looked at at least such of him. Because Father is probably one of my favourite characters in the game. Supplies, eh? So we're continuing the gameplay of, of the trailer. So, what ends up happening is another guy gets killed by Father, right? And this guy gets killed on the carriage, and this is the one where we see a new weapon. But we can't see what it is because it's so dark, but we'll see in a minute when Nikolai picks it up. So, this guy gets killed by Amakulov, and this looks like be another element of Father's uniqueness. You know, as she is a level soldier, this is a kind of thing you would expect a level from the Uzbekistan to be using. You know, fire tactics or guerrilla warfare to kill her enemies. And I thought that was pretty cool in itself. And what we end up seeing, like straight after that, the electric lights come back on and Nikolai and Father speak. Nice work. Same to you. Give the captain my regards. Stay. Help us go after Zakayev. I'd rather kill him. Good. You'll need this. Back in the fight. Actual. I'm with Nikolai. As you can see, Father finally convinces Nikolai to join the fight and actually take down Zakayev. And as you can tell, Nikolai is quite fucking pleased about that. And the fact they go onto the train, Nikolai picks up the new weapon. And this is the AS Valve, a possible new weapon, and it's got a heavy suppressor on it. And what we can see definitely from that, that we can probably get a blueprint for it as well. And it looks like Father has an AK-47 too, one of my favourite guns ever. And they go away in the train and they eventually go down the map. And then we finally get to take a look at the entire map. Where the map shows identically where all the train points are. It's a bit hard to figure out from the map here. But we also... At the same time, we had a map that showed everyone where these places were. And this actually was quite cool. It was like a Verdansk Metro service to 2020. And it was actually quite a cool thing to see. As you can see this picture here, I thought it was pretty cool. But if we want to take a deeper look into the picture of the map, which I think we should take more in depth to look at, we can see definitely the underground network works from the Dansk airport, Last Pass, Dansk Center as in stadium, Downtown Verdansk District and the Verdansk, no sorry, Bardesk Shopping District and then Verdansk Train Station, obviously, because that's where the trains go. And it goes to the Torsk Bulk or wherever the hell that's supposed to be. 
and then it goes back to the airport. And I thought it was pretty interesting to see these lines, and I wonder if it's actually a thing. Just like the train that's on top, it goes round in a circle continuously. But this is also potential to have different maps. And if we go back to the picture, it's actually showing you which way the trains go. It goes left, it goes that way, and right, it goes that way. I thought it was pretty cool to have that little feature showed up there. And the final note I would like to uh, tell everyone, or show everyone, would be the operators. The two operators, your Nikolai and Father, as we know they're going to be the two new operators in the game. And we also know we can have customization for all our operators. And I would like to show you what we have in store for the operators. And it looks quite interesting to see what they are, and I think there's a little story implemented to this too, but... Who's to say any of these things might be a hint for the future? So let's go and take a look at Nikolai's customization. The first one would be Nikolai just in his normal t-shirt. Love the black and white by the way. And it's just him in normal. I think this is the way we saw him mostly in Modern Warfare's story campaign anyway, so it was okay. And the second one we have him in light body armor and with a communications headset on him. And the third one we have in a heavy Nikolai with with an armoured chest piece, a heavy armoured bodysuit, a communications headset with the armoured helmet, and a gun holster at the front of his chest. And Father, I think her one would be the most interesting one, but they have shown this in the trailer as well. Uh, we see from one of the pictures, this is from right to left. Um, this is Father from a normal uniform, this is just what she was in the Modern Warfare game. The second one is she, only significant difference, she's wearing a helmet. Not sure why they just did that and that was it. And the third one, this is the one that we see her in the Modern Warfare trailer, where she's had the communications headset, a blue scarf and a black jacket. I think this is, could be the customization she has, but maybe. This could be a disguise used for her in Task Force 141. As we know, Captain Plyce has got Task Force 141, and Nikolai and Father might not even be in that picture yet, but it looks quite likely. I quite like Father's ones, compared to Nikolai's ones, it's, Nikolai seems quite fucking average to be honest. But I'm looking forward to seeing what Season 6 has in store for us. So if you guys want to know what's going on in Season 6, it's probably just about out by the time you've seen this video, but it's great to see that all the fan base is still there for Call of Duty, even all this time. It's now Season 6, and Story is getting forever, ever more interesting. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you thought about Season 6, what you think is so good about Season 6 right now, tell me in the comments below, and we will be making sure to make more content for you guys, and see you in the next one. Thank you. Copy. Say the word, Captain. So guys, thank you for watching the video straight to the very end. That means we have done something like for you to enjoy this video. If you enjoy the content that we create here, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. That means a lot for us to build a better platform, better quality videos, and better content for you guys. Please tell us in the comments below if you what you thought about the video and what you is your personal opinions. I love to see your personal opinions about these subjects as well, because so so we can build a better audience for our fans. And if you want to find us on all the other different platforms, we have links below in the description of this video. And we also on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube itself. We also have a website as well, so better check that out too. Please be sure you link yourself to all those pages so we can get everyone connected into one big AJK network. Because we're not alone in this. We have loads of content out there, and many of us in the YouTube world are willing to create more for you guys. So thank you and see you guys in the next one.